So the fifth and final step of the machine is what we call uh, re-engagement. And so at this point, if you think about it, they've come through the indoctrination, um, they've been engaged, they've hopefully bought, have a, had an opportunity to ascend. If they haven't, or if one of these didn't work, then they went into your segmentation bucket where you can then say, we're interested in this, how about this, how about this? But what about the people that never get reinterested? What about the folks that you go out and you have a good first date and everything seems fine and then they stop calling you back and you don't hear from them? What do you do with those leads? Well, that's where the re-engagement phase, uh, which is the fifth phase, that's where this phase kicks into action. So the idea with this phase is to wake up dying leads, to go to them and say, hey, what happened? I'm, I'm still here and, and as the name would suggest, to re-engage them. And, and the way that we typically deploy this is if someone hasn't opened or clicked on one of our emails in 60 days, then we know that there's a problem, right? Just like if you went out on a date with somebody, you had coffee, that went, that went fine, and you know, they signed up and you know, every, everything seemed good, and then all of a sudden, nothing. Radio silence, you would know, hey, there might be a problem here. So in the same way that you would respond and that you would follow up with somebody in, in a dating situation, it's, it's a similar type of path that we follow here. And the goal really is to get them in an engagement series. The goal is in this re-engagement to get them back over here and get them into a, a re-engagement or get them into an engagement series to, to get them to go out on a date with you, to reconsummate that relationship. That is the ultimate goal or to get them gone to stop stalking them in another way. And so the basic kind of steps that follow with the re-engagement process, and this can be really as, as long as you want it to be. We recommend it going anywhere from you know seven to 15 days, depending on how much time you want to put between them. But the basic steps is, you know, you might want to send a couple of emails, you know, two or three emails where they're a win back, right? Where you're saying, you know, hey, have you seen this? You know, wow, we, we just released this new report. Did you see it? We're really excited about this, where you're, you're making your best deal. You're kind of throwing it all out there. So going back to the dating uh, analogy, you know, you might go to them and say, hey, I had such a great time the other night. You know, I just got tickets to this concert. I know you're a fan of the band. I, I, you know, would you like to go? You know, you're kind of appealing uh, and putting, you know, maybe you wouldn't ordinarily buy tickets to a concert for someone on spec, but you really want to make this relationship work. So you're sending them flowers and gifts and things like that to try to win them back, to try to get them to remember, oh yeah, I did really like that person. Okay. So that's the first part. The first part assumes that you can win them back with flowers and gifts. And so that's what you do when somebody you know, 60 days have gone by, no opens, no clicks. That's the time to say, to really give them your best, to, to, to start making some ridiculous offers just to get them to engage, just to get them to open and to click again. All right. So maybe you do a couple of days at that. You take a couple of tries at a couple of different uh, gifts that you can send out. If that doesn't work, then it's time to move on to step two, which is to ask them, Hey, are you okay? You know, just like you would do, again, going back to dating, you might text someone and say, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while, just want to make sure you're okay. You do the same type of thing there. So you might send an email or two that's along the lines of, you know, is everything all right? You know, hey, we noticed that, that you know, you subscribed not too long ago, but, you know, recently you haven't been opening or really clicking on any of our emails. And so I just want to make sure, you know, are these getting through? You know, are you okay? Is everything all right? Are you still interested in this? If, you know, if you're not, uh, that's okay. You can feel free to unsubscribe. Um, if you are interested though, you know, you ought to go and check out this thing that we have over here because it's really great. And then send them maybe some of the gifts that you had over here, just starting with a, you know, having a little bit of a new starter. The next step is to kind of go somewhat passive aggressive, like, Hey, did I, did I do something wrong? Did we do something to offend you? Again, think about it. If you're communicating with someone that you know, you went out, you got their phone number. Maybe, maybe you had coffee or dinner, right? You had every reason to believe that they were interested because they gave you their, your contact info. They gave you their contact information and permission to follow up. So, you know, you start off doing the flowers and gifts and asking them, Hey, are you okay? And then finally it's, Hey, did we do something wrong? And that actually is a subject line that we'll use at this point. You know, did we do something wrong? So we ask them, Hey, you know, you know, it's me again. Uh, and, and these emails, the tone is very much like that. It's very personal. It's very direct. It's, yeah, hey, it's me again. I just wanted to reach out. Um, you know, you haven't really taken advantage of, of any of the offers that I sent you over the last few days. And, you know, it's been a while since you've really engaged with anything. I just want to find out, you know, 
did we do something wrong? Did we do something to upset you? Um, has something changed? You know, tell me, we love the feedback. And that might be a great time to send them over to a survey, you know, to ask them, you know, what do you want? What are your things? Something like that to re-engage. Obviously, if the flowers and gifts aren't working, then just saying, what do we do wrong? How can we change it? You know, how, how can we do better? So that's that's kind of step three. So you might send an email or two along those lines. Each one of these steps might be an email or two with maybe a day or two between you know, each one of them. Then we get into step four. And, and step four is where it's like, hey, look, this is kind of it. You know, this is, you know, this is your last chance. And, and, and so what we'll, what we'll do is it, the subject line that we'll use oftentimes is, is this goodbye? Right? Think about that subject line. Is this goodbye? And then we might do another one that's just all caps, last chance. And the tone of the email is, you know, hey, over the last you know, week or so, I've been you know, sending you a number of emails, some, some gifts, really just trying to get you reactivated and re-engaged in what we're doing over here at you know, Digital Marketer. You haven't really responded or taken advantage of any of them. So I just want to let you know, you know, I don't want to be sending you a bunch of stuff that you're not interested in. So at this point, uh, if I don't hear from you, then you know, if you don't click, click on this link, if you don't come over here to re-opt in or do something to show me that you're alive, then I'm just going to have to remove you um, from our list. Obviously, I don't want to do that, um, and I hope that you don't want to do that either. Um, if you do, then feel free just to click the unsubscribe link. Um, if you don't, then please come back here, click this link, or re-opt in. Again, ideally, you're getting them to re-opt into a new engagement series. And just to show me that you're still interested in receiving that. Again, it's exactly the same thing that you would send someone in the event that in a dating situation you haven't heard from them. You know, you're asking them, hey, you know, look, you know, seem like we had some some fun, but I haven't heard anything from you. I mean, if I don't hear anything back from you after this, this is going to be my last text or my last message or you know my last phone call because uh, the last thing I want to do is stalk someone who just isn't interested, right? Because if you keep emailing people over and over and over again, society has a word for that. It's called being a stalker, right? And, and it's ridiculous and absurd to continue doing that in the outside world. And yet, when I tell people that step five, if they don't respond to this, is to actually remove them, to take them off of your list, yes, to unsubscribe them, people freak out and they say, oh no, I don't want to do that. These are my precious leads. Um, you know, I, I can't do that. What if maybe one day they come back? Look, it's already been 60 days. And then you spend another couple of weeks following up and still nothing. It could be that they're just not that into you. Okay? And it's time to stop stalking them and it's time to just remove them. And the reason that you want to do this, apart from not being a stalker, is it's actually better for your list health overall. When you continue to send emails to unengaged people, the internet service providers out there, the, the Googles, the Yahoos, the AOLs, they're looking at you and they're saying, okay, our user here has not opened one of this person's emails in forever, and yet they still continue to mail them. Clearly, they're a spammer. And that can actually hurt your reputation score. That can actually hurt your deliverability with people who are interested. So you need to do it, not just because it's the right thing to do, not, not just because in many cases it will save you money, because with a lot of CRMs, you're paying based on the number of leads that you have on, on your list. You want to do it because it will make you more money, because it'll improve your deliverability and you can spend more time talking to the people who do still want to hear from you. Now, if the idea of just deleting them outright uh, doesn't appeal very much to you, then at a minimum, what I would do is I would remove them from your primary mailing list and I would put them on a secondary mailing list, right? Whether you set up your own mail server or use another solution, you've got to get them off of your primary mailing list. And if you do want to move them over, then you can continue basically with the win back process, continue mailing them, sending them gifts and flowers and this and this, trying to get them to re-engage and get back onto your main list. But I'll tell you, every time we've done this, every time we've had a client do it, what they found is that the cost of doing that was never, ever worth the benefit. They're just not that into it. They've moved on. And that's okay, because just like in relationships and just like in the real world, there's a lot of fish in the sea. And if you do all the other stuff that we talked about before, you know, if, if you're clear on who you are, what you're about, and the value you bring, if you have a clear, coherent statement of value, if you know who your market is, if you, you know, have a great lead magnet, if you have a killer tripwire, you know, a great core offer, a compelling profit maximizer, and if you follow up and follow everything else, then the people who are supposed to be with you, the people who are supposed to be engaged, they will be engaged with you and your brands. And the ones that aren't, great. Let them go.
just, just let them go. So I realized that finishing this discussion, talking about re-engagement and deleting a bunch of leads isn't the funnest way. So you maybe go back and watch segmentation again because that one was a lot of fun. But this is essential. Doing this is essential. It's essential for list health. It's, it's essential for maintaining high quality scores and reputation scores. And it's essential for deliverability. And frankly, just long term, it's essential to continuing uh, to grow your business and to scale it appropriately. So with that, we will tie a nice little ribbon on the machine. I hope that you um, got value from this. I hope that it's opened your eyes to how you can execute a winning email strategy. So with that, we'll go ahead and, and close up this session and I'll see you in the next video.